for me, the ocean is a sacred place, uh, owing back to my uh, background in the Hawaiian islands and, and growing up in that Polynesian culture. So the next step for me, uh, and this happened for me at the age of eight, so the next step for me was to figure out how to, how does one get involved in studying the ocean and in protecting the ocean? And uh, so uh, one thing led to another and uh, here I am uh, at Esri where we have a very strong uh, ocean initiative and an ocean team uh, across our, our company that I'm, I'm very proud to have been one of the founders and co-leaders of. Across the entire extent of our planet, we have essentially demolished the balance of the global carbon budget by burning fossil fuels, for example. We also have the, the unprecedented uh, warming of the ocean in terms of surface, uh, surface temperatures that are supercharging uh, storms and altering weather patterns across the entire planet. In the Atlantic, there are these uh, warnings of a forthcoming collapse, perhaps, of the Atlantic meridional overturning circulation uh, and many other challenges. And uh, this certainly has uh, profound effects on our daily weather and our long-term uh, climate. There is a lot to do and uh, we, the more that we can use GIS to uh, address these threats and to come up with solutions, uh, the, the better chance we have of making a profound contribution. In terms of monitoring the, the health of the oceans and, and maintaining that, that's done in many ways, many ways where GIS plays a, a huge role. And we can really make a huge contribution by uh, using the geographic approach uh, in managing and analyzing, understanding, disseminating uh, these data. We, we're very familiar with urban planning, but there is the realm of marine spatial planning that is tailor-made for, for GIS. So these are the ways that we can help to uh, keep the ocean healthy uh, for today and for, for tomorrow. And this is also where it's very valuable for the scientific community, the ocean science community, but also for local communities uh, that are on the coast or in the near shore environment to create their own digital twins. And I think this will be very, very important again for uh, community uh, action, for community uh, agency, uh, particularly for uh, indigenous groups or underrepresented groups, also for connecting to, to policymakers, because in the end, it's going to take uh, levels of, of action and understanding. This is going to, to give us a, a nice uh, network or ecosystem of uh, uh, interacting, uh, interoperable uh, digital twins to get at this very, very large uh, ocean space. We're trying to do this for 71% uh, of the planet's surface. There's going to have to be a lot of communication and, and sharing uh, across all of these different communities and nations. GIS, as we know, is one of the ultimate communication tools. Uh, it's not just uh, mapping, it's not just analytics, it's using those to, to communicate through that language uh, of maps and analytics that is part of GIS. So and it's going to be very important for the GIS community to participate in the building of these hubs uh, that, that we'll be talking about uh, at your conference. Uh, as a way of sharing everything, sharing the data, sharing the workflows, sharing the visualizations, uh, any uh, augmented reality or virtual reality approaches, uh, educational modules, so that uh, all kinds of audiences can really understand uh, what is going on in the digital twin and the value of it. I have never been to uh, the Esri Germany uh, user conference, so I am first and foremost looking forward to experiencing everything and seeing everyone and uh, meeting this uh, wonderful uh, community uh, that is a partner community to, to our company in the U.S.